Hey my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Wendy. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day and a beautiful King Yeshua HaMashiach. Today I will be reading Luke 10, uh, 17 through 22, Acts 16, 16 to 18, and Acts 3, 1 to 26. So Luke 10. This is to go along with the word I received on 18 October. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. And then I'll be in Acts 16, 16 to 18. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying the same followed Paul and us and cried saying these men are the servants of the most high God which shew unto us the way of salvation and this did she many days but Paul being grieved turned and said to the spirit I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her and he came out the same hour. And then I will be in Acts 3, reading all of Acts 3. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, laying from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked in alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as a lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them into the, in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. Excuse me. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or, or holiness we had made this man to walk? The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up, and denied him in the presence of Pilate, when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One, and the just, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you, and killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses, and his name through faith, in his name hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yea, the faith which is by him 
hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I wot that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. For those things which God before had shewed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come for the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets, and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. And to you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, and turning away every one of you from his iniquity. Let us praise our wonderful and glorious God. O Lord God Almighty, Father of all creation, thank you for this day. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my family. Thank you for your love, for your grace, for your mercy. I love you, my perfect, precious Father. And thank you for your precious Son, King Yeshua. Thank you for making his name above all names. For he has crushed the enemy under his feet. And he has the victory forevermore. Praise be to his holy and mighty name. Hallelujah. To the perfect and one and only true God. I love you so much. Amen and amen. I received this word on 18 October at 12.02 p.m. My dearest and lovely daughter, write down my words for my lovely children to hear. My loves, the time period is past midnight. I have extended time for my lost, backslidden, and lukewarm children to come to their mighty and all-wise God. My loves, please do not try to guess upon why I am doing things that don't match up to what man thinks I should be doing. I had mentioned in many previous messages that events are not going to be as you think. Let God work and continue to draw nigher unto me where you will be kept safe. I am going to do such a wonder with my faithful and holy children. They will be my witnesses in my righteous and powerful name. For my name is the mightiest of all. Last night I gave my daughter a pretty powerful dream. In it she felt a tiny part of my father's wrath against my lost, backslidden, and lukewarm. She woke up in a daze, wondering what just happened. She represented my body, my bride, who pulls together and intercedes for their fellow brethren. My father was about to destroy the person that represented the stiff-necked and wicked when my daughter quickly wrapped herself around him and covered him in my blood. Then she woke up. This is how powerful what I did on the cross was. It comes between my father and that person, for I am the great mediator. My name is power. My name destroys the enemy advances. My name is the most beautiful name under all heaven and earth. Use the authority of my name, Yeshua HaMashiach, or Jesus Christ. 
Use it against all principalities and evil spirits. Use it for healing the sick. Use it for deliverance from drugs or alcohol. If you are completely in me, use my name. The enemy loves it when my faithful doesn't understand the power and authority of my name. It is so very important for all who walk with their Savior to know who they are. For these times are the darkest and will wax worse and worse. Use my mighty and conquering name. Your authoritative and powerful King, Lord God Almighty, Yeshua HaMashiach.